Let's reach back to 1973 for this classic from Golden Earring. It's got great riffs all over the place. So let me help you with the verse and the chorus. It all starts off with this great intro. <laughs> intro riff you just heard me play couldn't be easier. I encourage you to, to play this in second position, which means the index is going to finger any of the second fret notes and the ring finger is going to finger any of the fourth fret notes. Here it comes. <laughs> fifth string, second fret fifth string, and keep that index finger down for the power chord. Now you know what happens next, right? The drums come in, the momentum starts building, and before long we hear, I've been driving all night, my hands wet on the wheel. So here's the trick. Index finger making a small bar, a partial bar, across four treble strings, four skinny strings. That's going to take care of any of the second fret notes you need. I use my ring finger. You could use your pinky. I use my ring finger for the fourth fret notes. And I, I basically put down a second bar covering four treble strings with my ring finger. You could do all down strokes with your pick. I like to throw in one up stroke. That third one. Down, down, up. it just feels good to have that one extra upstroke in there down down up down 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 but that's optional now that riff as you probably know that riff repeats over and over again you know so uh that carries us right into the pre-chorus um when after you hear the lyrics say uh half past four and i'm shifting gear next thing is the pre-chorus which we're going to learn right now here at the pre-chorus, we're going to be doing a lot of downstrokes and a lot of power chords. A couple little twists and turns, but basically, it's pretty straightforward uh, rock and roll guitar. So, here we are when she is lonely and the longing gets too much. Check this out. Two, three, four. Pretty straightforward, right? Next part, she sends a cable. Here it comes. Now, right on the word in, things get a little bit tricky. Nothing too bad. Right on coming in, we have the B power chord for three downstrokes. And then right on the lyric above, it changes to this, down up. I change to a, a bar on the three bass string seventh fret, above. Okay, so it sounds like this, coming in, from, above, you hit the 7-7 seven, seven again, and then nice slide from 7 up to 9. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play through these, uh, this part without any talking. Right on, coming in, ready? Coming Okay, now here comes don't need a phone at all. Don't need a phone. D major chord, we'll talk about that in a second. So, similar to what we did on uh, coming in from above, don't need a phone at all. Don't need a phone at all. Okay, now that D is what leads us into the chorus. We'll talk about that in the next clip. But... Those simple downstrokes on that C sharp power chord with that little upstroke at the end. One, two, three, four, and two, three. Got it? All right, let's head into the chorus. So let's grab that D major chord and let's go through the chorus. What I'm going to do for a minute here is I'm going to play through the chorus with no singing and uh, simply counting. Because there's a few things that happen on the upbeats. I want you to be okay with the feeling of the upbeat. Strokes, okay. Two, three, four. 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 
So timing, right? A lot of timing things. Now, in case you need a little more help, that's what I'm here for. Uh, hey, by the way, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my website, Songbike. Become a member for 10 bucks and get access to a lot of great videos that you can't get anywhere else. Okay, so now I'm going to walk through the course and slow it way down. Check this out. D major. We've got a thing. Right on thing. Thing. Now, the next thing's going to happen right in the word and. Here it comes. And, right? And that's uh, called. Right on call. Right on love. Right on love. You got that uh, F sharp power chord. And there's a quick little up down. Next D. We've got a wave. Right on our wave. One, two, three. Right in the in the air. And here's your next power chord right after air. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now I know I'm doing it very slowly here. I'm not singing the tune. I'm not playing along with the original recording. That's going to be up to you to listen to it and get the sound in your head. But hopefully I'm helping you with the left hand information and the basic rhythm of the chorus, okay? I know it's, uh, there's a lot of space here. And anytime musicians have a lot of space to fill, things can go wrong. When I, when I say space, I mean one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. You know what I mean? There's, there's some space in there. So do yourself a favor. Listen to the original recording a bunch of times, okay? That's your best teacher, the original recording. Now, for the fun of it, let's learn one more part of the tune. We've got the basics covered here. Let's learn one more part. Here it comes. All right, let's learn one last part of the tune, a nice instrumental part. I'm going to call it the breakdown part of the tune. It's the part that goes... Okay, and it has a little variation on there. So I'm going to walk you through this, but you can see from the tab on the screen, this is actually pretty easy and a lot of fun to play. So we have the basic riff. I'm going to use my index for the second fret, middle finger for the third fret. Here we go, slowly. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then you repeat the same thing. Now it changes. Two, three, four. Two, three, and that repeats. Two, three, four. Two, three, now it changes again. Two, three, last part. so great. All right, there's the breakdown part. A lot of fun to play. Anybody can play that, right? All right, peeps. Good job today. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for enjoying this video. Don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you tomorrow for another riff of the day.